Barry is a 43-year-old man who recently presented with persistent diarrhea and occasional blood in his stools. Workup identified elevated inflammatory markers and mucosal changes in his left colon consistent with ulcerative colitis. His family history is significant for hypertension. Barry notes that his mother often had problems with her digestion, though he does not know her diagnosis. Other than ulcerative colitis, he is in good health, although he smokes a half a pack of cigarettes a day and drinks socially. Barry recently lost his job as a steel worker for a local contractor. He has no health insurance or prospects for work. When first diagnosed, Barry demonstrated limited health literacy and a poor understanding of the disease and its treatments. His main concern was the ability to pay for medications as his only income at the moment is unemployment insurance and a small stipend from the union. Hey Barry, how you doing? Hey doctor, how are you? Have a seat. Barry, the test results suggest that you have a condition called ulcerative colitis, which is an inflammatory disease of the colon. Uh, you will require treatment to address the inflammation and to stop the diarrhea that you've been experiencing. Well, I mean, is this serious, or? Well, ulcerative colitis can be managed successfully, but we do need to get you on an appropriate treatment. I lost my insurance, you know, because I lost my job. Is there something cheap I can take, you know, maybe something over the counter, or? Well, the fastest way to get you better is to use two medications, an oral drug, which comes as a tablet, and a topical therapy that's administered as an enema. Enema? You mean I got to put it in my... Yeah, it's, it's no big deal. I'm going to write you a prescription for an oral mesalamine, which I need you to take three times a day, and a steroid enema, which you're going to need to use daily for now. And I need you to hold the enema inside you for 30 minutes for it to be effective. I really need this. It's, it's just going to be expensive. Well, using both agents is the most effective way to stop your diarrhea. Uh, once the symptoms resolve, then we can talk about maintenance therapy. Yeah. All right. I just need you to see the office staff before you leave and get a follow-up appointment. Okay, all right. Okay. Thank you, doctor. Barry was prescribed mesalamine 1.2 grams three times a day plus corticosteroid enema once daily. However, he did not successfully retain the enema and gave up after one try. He continued with oral mesalamine for a month, but found the medication to be too expensive on his limited income. He continued to have occasional loose stools during treatment. I got a little better taking the pills. I guess I took them for about 30 days for that. I just couldn't afford them. It's not like they fixed me anyway. I mean, I still have to run for the bathroom sometimes. And now I'm afraid to go out in public because I always have to find a bathroom somewhere. Not that that matters because I can't find any work. Oh, and that enema? Forget that. They made me buy a week's supply and I used it once. I mean, I just couldn't keep it in. What were they expecting anyway? Many patients do not have adequate resources to understand and manage their disease, and it is important to figure this out early in the relationship so that you can design a plan that is additive rather than dumping a lot of information on a patient all at once. Ask him what sort of medication coverage he has, and if it is severely limited, then offer the least expensive therapy with an explanation of why it may not work so that he doesn't have false expectations. The minute that the patient starts to ask about cost, even before side effects, may be a clue that you are going to have an issue. All patients should know about the existence of the Crohn's and Colitis Foundation of America, the CCFA. There are chapters in most states or regions, and it is an excellent source for up-to-date, unbiased information for those with access to a computer. 1-800-MY-GUT-PAIN is an easy phone number to remember and is a phone line for direct questions. When giving information, stop periodically and have the patient recite it back to you so that you know that they understood. Avoid terms like mucosa, induction, and dysplasia, as only those with a medical background are going to understand what those terms mean. Write things down for the patient or type them out on a computer that you may have in the office so that they can take home the main discussion points. Barry, how are you doing? Hey, Good doctor. to see you. Hey. Have a seat. 
Barry, the test results suggest that you have a condition called ulcerative colitis, which is an inflammatory disease of the colon. Um, you will require treatment to address the inflammation and to stop the diarrhea you've been experiencing. Well, it sounds serious. It's... Ulcerative colitis is an inflammatory bowel disease, which means you have inflammation in your colon that causes you to have loose stools and sometimes blood in your stools. So uh, yes, it can be serious if left untreated because you could lose significant blood over time. We also want to control the inflammation because chronic ongoing inflammation can increase one's risks for developing colon cancer. What, what, you mean I'm gonna get cancer now? Research suggests that people with ulcerative colitis have an increased risk for cancer the way that uh, cigarette smoking increases the risk for lung cancer. And again, treatment for ulcerative colitis has been shown to reduce this risk. I lost my job and I don't have any insurance. I mean, is there something cheap I can take? You know, maybe something over the counter. Well, not over the counter, no. You will require prescription medication. The goal of this treatment is to reduce the inflammation in your colon and to stop the symptoms that you've been experiencing. Um, there are less expensive options for treatment and we can discuss those for now. I think the fastest way for you to get better is to use a combination therapy, which consists of an oral drug, which is a tablet, and a topical therapy that's administered as an enema. An enema? That's right. Uh, some of the treatments for this condition are most effective when they are applied directly to the lining of the colon. And to do this, you have to administer a fluid enema containing the medication. You may find it difficult to hold all the fluid in the first few times. It's okay. It's okay. Hold it as long as you can, up to 30 minutes. And over time, I think you'll find it easier to hold the enema in. Yeah, well, that all sounds like a lot of fun and everything, but I mean, what about the cost? Look, I can barely afford this visit. I understand your concern. There's a drug called sulfasalazine that is available as a generic, which makes it less expensive. It acts by reducing the chemicals that cause inflammation in your colon. Barry, do you know if you're allergic to any drugs, for example, uh, sulfa drugs? No, not that I know of, no. Okay. I'm going to ask you to take two pills three times a day for a total of three grams a day of sulfasalazine. Uh, you may experience some side effects, upset stomach, uh, loss of appetite. If these occur, they're going to get better over time, so continue taking the medication. Uh, you may also notice a yellow-orange discoloration of your urine. It's natural, nothing to worry about. I also want you to take a supplement that contains folate because sulfasalazine can cause your body to lose folate, and uh, folate is an important vitamin. Well, are you trying to make me better or worse, doctor? I mean. Look, that's a lot of medicine. I, I just don't know if I can afford all of this. I know. It sounds like a lot right now. Um, inexpensive folate supplements are available. And just ask your pharmacist for help. If you find that both the oral and the topical therapy are getting to be too much, call me. And we can discuss how we can get you treated. And uh, it may be possible for us to get discounts or uh, coupons from the drug companies. Um, we can look into that if necessary, okay? But in the meantime, let's try this combination therapy approach, okay? If it's successful, then we can stop the enemas and possibly lower the dose of sulfasalazine and that will be cheaper for you over time. I know that we covered a lot today. Let me write out a few notes that you can take with you and review later, okay? If you have any questions at all, take a card from up front, uh, my business card, and give me a call. Okay, okay Mary? Thank you. Doctor. Okay, man. Good luck. Thanks. Okay.